Right, hello, hello guys, how's it going? Um, in this video, I would like to talk about uh, socket testers. I've seen quite a few people uh, rely on all these um, to prove that a socket's safe to use, um, preferring that over multifunction testers or um, actual proving units and um, voltage indicating, for instance. And I just wanted to sort of highlight the problem with these because in my opinion, these are in the realm of um, voltage ones, you know, electricity ones. I don't have one here right with me at the moment. Oh, yes, I do. Hang on. For me, these are in the league of these, okay? It's just an indicator. It's an indication device. That's all it is. You know, this tells me that I've got power. Should do, possibly. Um, that's all this does. It doesn't tell me whether the um, light, uh, neutral and earth are reverse, okay? And a lot of people don't know. What a lot of people fail to realize is there is in fact a warning on all of these devices that this product will not detect neutral earth reverse or test condition of earth, uh, earth connection. It also doesn't tell you whether you've got a ring or not. OK, so people need to get away from trusting these um, with their lives. So and when we look at that, that all looks good. Some of these claim to do 33 tests. If you look over them, a lot of them are very similar. OK, so they're just they're in the same league as um, ones. OK, um, voltage ones. That's it. Uh, maybe a little step up, but not too much of a step. So let me bring this back in again so I can show you something else. Okay, so you have to you have to take these with a pinch of salt. Now, what I've downloaded is from Electrical Safety First. Okay, now this has been out for quite a while. Um, I mean, I've had this for years on my laptop. When was this done? February two thousand and fifteen. Okay, so this has been out quite a while. Now, I've highlighted a thing that I just want to bring your attention to, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that. All right. So what it says here, no socket outlet test device, including an advanced or professional device, which I'll show you in a second, can alone provide full assurance that a socket outlet is safe to use. For example, none can detect an open ring final circuit, a loose connection, a case of unsatisfactory insulation, resistance of circuit conductors, or a reversal of the neutral and protective conductors. It goes on to say a further fault that most types of socket outlet test device cannot detect is a reversal of the line and phase earth to neutral conductors within the incoming electricity supply to the premises. If the installation forms part of a TNCS system. The reason why this potentially dangerous fault cannot be detected by the test device is that the voltages seen by the device between the various contacts of the socket outlet are unaffected by a reversal in the polarity of the supply as shown in the figure below. OK, and then it shows you this. So it's quite difficult to actually make that out. But effectively, what you've got down here is you've got neutral and your earth there coming around this way and in this one you've got your live and your earth here okay it, it can't pick that up socket outlet test devices are commonly seen in tool bags but unfortunately due to a lack of knowledge of their limitations amongst some users such devices are often used inappropriately as the sole means of checking whether a socket outlet is safe to put into or continue in service this can only be checked by following the inspection and testing procedures set out in part six of BS7671, requirements for the electrical installation. Okay, so I just want you guys to take that away. Okay, this has been in service since 2015. It's a free download um, from the uh, electrical safety first. Okay, there's a, I think there's nine on there that are free to download. Um, it, it's, it's well worth having a look. Um, in terms of different types okay so it's got a few types here 
So for instance, it's got here, there are three types of socket outlet test device, simple, advanced and professional. Examples are depicted below. So the first one is just a simple device. We've got the three lights on there. An advanced one might tell you the earth fault loop impedance in ohms, and it's supposed to give you a reading of how good that is. Again, these don't pick up earth neutral reverses um, or um, loose connections or anything like that. Um, and then you've got a professional device, which might be like your MFT that's plugged in and is giving you an earth reading. Again, you know, they're limited by what they can do. The only way to prove that a, a ring circuit is fully functional is to do your R1, R2 testing, um, your R1, RN, figure of eight, and obviously insulation resistance before you put it into service. Uh, people that are using those to, as a final check before they walk out the door, are obviously leaving a lot um, discrepancies, potential discrepancies behind, okay? Because this isn't the definitive test, right? So I just wanted to put that video out there. Um, yeah, that was it really. Um, hope you're all well. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.